Afternoon everyone, it's Cargo Bike Life again. We started that project yesterday for the Shit Hits the Fan Bicycle using the folding bike. Here's the piece that I got done yesterday. I had planned on being a little further ahead, but I didn't get to the point where I wanted to be and I'll tell you why in a minute. It's a good reason. Um, but here's a comparison. This is, this is the tape that I applied to that first tube. And then here's the original color of the bike. Let me know what you think about that. Let me know how you think it's coming out. Um, I can bring it a little closer if you want to see a little better. That might, might be a little better view of it. I even got the chrome, the chrome part, uh, the tape on it. Tape seems to be sticking pretty good. I don't know how it'll do long term. If any of you have experience with this, let me know. Um, seems to be sticking everywhere though. Don't don't see it coming off anywhere. Um, also, um, let me know what you think about me taking this bicycle and putting all that tape on it. If you think it's a worthwhile project, um, I'm more than happy to do it. Uh, this bike, my original plan was to take it and sand it down and get it all ready. We might have even looked for someone to powder coat it. I thought it would be really pretty in a like a bright orange with a nice clear coat. Um, but I don't know. We can do whatever. It's not like I can't change it later. I wanted to show you those uh, tires I got too. I put one of them on the front wheel. This is the uh, original tire with the tread. That's the original tread on the tire. And I think that t that tread would have been okay off road in, in a you know a real mild off road situation. Um, they're 20 by 1.75s, and I replaced them with this uh, this bell tire with this air, gu air guard technology. It's supposed to be 30 percent thicker, but look at the look at the pattern on that. Look at that knobby pattern. That'd probably be really good off road. And the tire this tire on this rim is a is a little wider than the original tire, so it's really got some some uh, grip off road a lot more than I think the other ones would have unfortunately these wheels are um, aluminum and there's no way I can camel them I can't think of any way to camel them paint if you paint them once that um, brake pad hits the, the sidewall of the rim it's just gonna peel that paint off there if you all know of any way to camel that out um, and it's got you know silver spokes so that's not gonna be great for you know shit hits the fan bicycle bright silver spokes and paint never seems to stick. I've tried it before. I never can get paint to stick very well. But if you all have any ideas, let me know. Um, the only thing I can think would be to watch for a pair of 20-inch rims where the rear wheel had a six-speed freewheel on it, and maybe they were black with black spokes, and switch them out. Uh, if y'all got any ideas, let me know. Anytime I'm doing a project, uh, any com I always appreciate comments, good or bad. I mean, I don't want you to be completely belligerent and in a dick, but any any comments, you know, about the project or ideas, I, I always I always like that. I like to have, you know, people give their opinion. These are the these are the handlebars for that bike, and what I like about these is they're welded. There's no no clamp. I mean, it doesn't give you a lot of options for moving the handlebars or different handlebars, but these are going to be really easy to camo out with some of that tape. I mean, this got a real, you can see it's real shiny. It's got a real shiny clear coat, coat on it, but a little light sanding to get that clear coat off and apply the tape. The tape won't be hard except around this piece, but everywhere else it'll be pretty easy and it'll be completely camoed out, no shiny thing. The other hard part is going to be that seat post because it's chrome. And what I'm just going to do with that is uh, I'm just going to clean it real good and I'm going to put the put the seat up to the height that I need to keep it at because I don't believe it'll slide up and down in this seat tube with that tape on there because it's a very tight fit in there I think that's even a shim if the shim will come out then maybe it would and I can just tape the whole thing um, but other than that I plan on just just covering it with the tape and leaving it at the optimal seat height for myself so that's where we've gotten on that I had planned on having the whole thing done but yesterday an opportunity came to me 
and I want to show you what that opportunity is. The space I use for my shop, it was it's a storage unit. I just rent a storage unit by the month, and it's just a 10 by 10 is all, all I had. But an opportunity came to me yesterday for just a little bit more money to move to a 10 by 20. So now I have this bigger space. And you can see, let me take it to the, this is the very edge of the shop right here. So as you can see, I have all this space now all the way back to here. So I got, I got a unit that's double the size for not much more money. And as you can see, I've got a place for my bikes, all the bikes that are in here. And I have a dedicated work area now. Now I have this area right here where I don't have to move my stand and move the bikes in and out of the building like I had to before. Now I actually have a space to dedicate to whatever project I'm working on. And then I got my all of my tools. I got all my tools. It's still a little messy right now because I didn't have much time uh, yesterday to work on it. But I got all my tools in here. And then I've got on the other wall, I've got all my, my little rack I made to hang all my bags and accessories and stuff. And then, you know, I got some, some good tires up there, some old tires up there, and I've got all my other, uh, like, a couple chairs and stuff. But all in all, like, there was a, there's a place even for my, uh, you can see all the racks I got, rear, rear racks, rear racks I've cut down in the front racks. I got some fenders. So I got a lot more space now, and that's why... I didn't make it further on the shit hits the fan bicycle build because when an opportunity comes up like that, I jump on it because having twice the shop space, this is so much nicer when I, when I have to work on things or when I want to work on things because before I would have to move all the bicycles out just to make enough space to, to work. Now I have dedicated space. It saves me a lot of time and, and trouble. But I just wanted to show you that. Um, let me know what you think about this uh, camo on this bike. How you think it's coming out. If you want to see it progress. If you think it's stupid and you don't want to see it. It's a waste of time. Tell me that. Uh, just give me some feedback. Let me know what's up. Um, if, if you're into Shit Hits Fan Bicycle and you got a bunch of buddies who are. Uh, pass the word to them. Tell them to look at the video and give their opinion um be great if they became subscribers you know I'm, i've grown my subscriber base from 12 last year i'm at i think 113 or 114 now and i'm really appreciative of all the people who uh subscribe to my channel i like making content and uh i love when people leave me comments when people leave me comments and uh i get to interact with them i, I really I, I enjoy that it's it's a lot of fun so, y'all have a good day, you ride safe, and uh, we'll make a video in a couple days when I get that frame completely done. You have a good day. Cargo Bike Life Act.